Hello! In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how I made a dress out of books. The main purpose of this channel is to document the adventures of a beginner garment maker, so one thing I wanted to do was go back and revisit my first garment I ever made, the only successful garment I made before starting this channel, this dress made of books. First, I should probably explain why would someone want to make a dress out of books, other than the fact that why wouldn't someone want to make a dress out of books? Because it sounds kind of awesome. That is exactly what high school me thought when I was given an art assignment to make a dress out of unusual materials. I went to a public school with a really awesome magnet program. I was in the visual arts magnet, and we had a textiles class our junior year, and our senior year we could take a second textiles class. Every student in that class had to make a dress out of unusual materials. These assignments were legendary. When I was a freshman, there was a senior who made a dress out of condoms. Yes, condoms. But the reason why the dress was legendary was not that it was a dress made out of condoms, but the fact that it was so pretty. Like, it was the prettiest dress made that year. It was absolutely gorgeous. It looked like frills going all down and lace on top. So even from our freshman year, we saw the seniors making these and we were like, oh my gosh, that sounds so hard. How the heck are we going to make a dress? Which brings me to how the heck did I make the dress? My dress was constructed less with sewing skill and more with ingenuity and a lot, a lot of time. I didn't know how to construct a bodice, so what I did to make it fit me was actually <laughs> I paper mache the top half of my body in my parents' backyard, and that was interesting. It was kind of messy, but I managed to cut it off and I had this paper bodice that I was able to cut and shape to the way I wanted it to look. We had a duplicate Harry Potter book, so you can see that made it into the spine. And I also had access to a bunch of books that my art teacher gave me. They were just like textbooks and junk books that they were basically gonna throw away. Threw out some geometric shapes, cut the books to fit them, and then with an awl, I pressed through all of these book covers and hand sewed with some nice twiny thread. And you can see all my crazy hand stitching on the back. This is not a well-finished garment. But from the outside, I do think it looks pretty badass. And you can see there's a place where it ties in the back where I just punched out bigger holes. I think I actually had to drill through this with one of my father's power tools. But you know what? It worked. <laughs> then the skirt. This is a lovely high-low skirt because that's the era when I went to high school. I found a commercial pattern and followed it to make the skirt material. I wonder if you can see, you can see some of the cloth underneath that. After I'd sewed the skirt, I created this part here with masking tape and just book pages. I created kind of a blanket for the back slash inside lining of the skirt. And there is a lot of clear thread holding that down as well as some big zigzag lines from the machine. I ripped out the title pages of books that I found important. There was also that duplicate Harry Potter book sacrifice to the mix and a copy of Lord of the Flies that I had that was very old and was literally falling apart. So a lot of this is Lord of the Flies and Harry Potter. Here you can see some of those title pages of books important to me, like 1984 and To Kill a Mockingbird, Catcher in the Rye, as well as Snape saying always at the top. A Tree Grows in Brooklyn, Reppin 2. Those are books that I still have and they're just mysteriously missing their title page now. To create the main texture of the skirt, Every single one of these book pages you see is actually burned. That's how I got the texture around the edges. Now, as a high school student, my parents didn't like me going around the house burning things, so ironically, I did a lot of this outside on our wooden deck using a glass tabletop, mind you. And there was some burning of the book pages that I did in the basement in secret, and they might have smelled it when they came home. 
so a lot of time spent burning every single book page to get that burned texture around the edges and judging by the audiobooks I listened to while I was sewing all of these on here I spent about 30 hours just sewing book pages onto this skirt I have no idea how long it took me to make this dress but 30 hours just for sewing the book pages on I have a zipper in the back that's how I get it on it is cool to look back and see all the different pieces. I see Grapes of Wrath, The Dark Lord Descending, which is the second chapter of the seventh book. A lot of time and a lot of love went into making this. And now I'm gonna see if my crazy book dress still fits. surprised that it still fits because if anything I've lost weight since high school. Um, the one thing that worried me was my shoulders because I started rock climbing and I'm now buff girl. I outgrew a bunch of tight jackets in the shoulders. But it is so cool to get to wear this thing again. A part of me wonders now that I have some acquired sewing knowledge what I might have been able to accomplish if I had that in high school plus all of the time that I put into it if that time had been slightly better informed because in the project we really didn't talk about sewing or pattern cutting, we were just kind of left to our own imaginations. Um, so even though it's kind of janky- OH MY GOSH! I have a tribute to Molly Weasley on here that I forgot about that says not my daughter you bitch right on the front. Oh my gosh, high school me. Thank you for that gift. If I made this now, I would make a skirt that is completely full, even though that would mean a lot more time sewing stuff on because, let's be honest, the high-low thing, it kind of works, but it's already dated my poor dress. It's more knowledge of dressmaking techniques and dress history. Might have been nice, but for what it is, I am really damn proud of high school me for this one. Especially for you, my little night, my daughter you bitch gift. Hmm.